What's up you guys, Brandon here and I am back with another action figure review. Today we're taking a look at a really cool set. This is the brand new Target exclusive 12 inch Bat Cycle set. In front of us we're taking a look at Bruce Wayne, Selena Kyle, Batman and the Penguin. All 12 inch figures. These guys look phenomenal. This is a massive, massive set you guys. Just to give you an idea here of what's going on. That is four brand new figures. Um, definitely at least three out of the four, there's something brand new going on that is exclusive to this set. We're going to take a look at that in just a little bit. And we get a 12 inch bat cycle. This thing looks awesome. Again, exclusive to Target. So that's where you're going to find this set. I got mine for 50 bucks. Really interesting stuff. Taking a look at the back side of this set and we can see that we got everybody here and they look pretty pretty good i really do like that box art a lot you can definitely tell that is the digital rendering that they use for each of these figures and they are modeled accordingly and then we see here that yes these are advertised for 12 inch figures and we get a really nice image of that bike very cool i'm really interested to see what the robert pattinson figure looks like up close That'll be really, really interesting to see. Let me get you guys the barcode so you can find this at your local Target. There you go if you need it. All right, very cool. We're going to get these figures out of the packaging and take a closer look. Stay tuned. All right, you guys, we got our figures out of the packaging, and these look awesome. Super, super excited. Taking a look first at the Bat Cycle. This is a really interesting piece. Um, the sculpt work is either 100% brand new or it is just an exploded version of the 4-inch Bat Cycle that we'll probably see later with the Bat Cave playset. So there's the front. Um, there's not a whole lot of detail. There's um, the X-style emblem in the center of the light, uh, but it is not colored in. Over here, we've got some coloring, but for the most part, everything is sculpted in black and is black. And uh, that's about pretty standard for a bat cycle. We can see the engine on this side and the exhaust, and that looks pretty cool. And that's a dual exhaust. So we've got the same thing going on on the other side. It's pretty much exactly the same on both sides. We've got a chain on the right and on the left. So same design, left and right. I have not found or seen anything different here at all. There is no speedometer and it is all just pretty much a matte or flat black. But a really cool looking bike. It does twist left and right here at the front. So there's our articulation. And then we got uh, the same thing with the tire in the back is the front, just to rotate. And then the cool thing is down here, we don't have to have any kind of balancing act. There is a kickstand and it's a really nice one. It goes up and it comes down just like that. So the bat cycle can stand on its own. And it's kind of odd because the front tire touches the ground. But with that uh, kickstand, the back tire really doesn't touch the ground. So it can spin. So very, very interesting. And how does the bike roll on its own? It, uh, it actually moves pretty well. The tires are a nice hard plastic, no rubber, uh, but it does work very well. And it looks really nice. I can't even tell you guys. The last time I had a motorcycle for a 12 inch action figure, I think maybe it was for GI Joes when I was a little kid. So this is really, really cool, a great piece. Now on to the real question. Will this work with a 12 inch figure? And what does that look like? So I've got our regular standard 12 inch Batman figure right here, the basic $10 one. He is not from this pack. Unfortunately, it looks like most of the articulation in the legs, which we'll cover in a little bit there, um, is kind of messed up on those figures. So Batman's hands slide into the handlebars, but they don't grip tightly. So there's uh, there's nothing that is really locked in about Batman being on this bike. So there's his arms. So his arms definitely do fit on the bat cycle. Unfortunately, his legs protrude outwards. They cannot rest on that peg and there's really nothing that I can do about it to make that happen. Uh, but he does fit on the bike. We can have him look forward just a little bit. Um, and like I said, you know, also on the other side, 
uh, his leg just kind of sticks out. So it's not horrible, but uh, yeah, that's kind of how it looks. And I think maybe, you know, just for display purposes, Batman could sit on the bike. But um, yeah, I don't know. Uh, I really wish this would fit better, but it really doesn't. No matter what I do, that'll stick out. And then what do I do with this cape? Kind of awkward. It's not super horrible, but without any pegs or anything to lock any of this into place, it does feel very awkward for Batman to be on here. Um, and then holding from the seat, it does work well. Batman can ride the bat cycle. So, I mean, if you're a kid, you're not really going to notice this or understand too much um, about how he looks, how he sits on the bike, and uh, what the differences are between having a figure that locks into place and, uh, yeah, this. It's not super horrible. I'm wiggling it around pretty good. Doesn't seem like he's moving or going anywhere. So there you go. There's Batman on the motorcycle. Really cool, you guys. I'm so stoked for this movie. Next, taking a look at our 12 inch Selena Kyle figure. This is basically the exact same sculpt uh, that we've seen before. Uh, Zoe Kravitz there. And actually, she looks really, really good. So I definitely like that. Um, if you'll notice, my camera is picking up the difference here just slightly. But you can tell in some areas of her costume, like here on the sides, down here, and on her sides, she has a glossy pearly color. You can definitely see that on the sides there. So it's not throughout her whole costume, but I guess if this was to be classified as an exclusive figure, that's what's exclusive. I don't know why these guys are so afraid to just paint them and make them a different color or something. I'm sure we'll see it. We, we're, we're definitely going to get a bunch of variants. Like, I'm sure we'll get her in purple or pink or something. And I'm sure we'll get Batman in, like, a bright blue and maybe camo green. Who knows? But, yeah. So, again, if, uh, if I had to say that there was something different about this Catwoman that we didn't get on the basic figure, it's this kind of, like, pearlescent or sparkly uh, color throughout just various parts of black on her costume. Uh, definitely on her boots. So, yeah, very, very interesting. Uh, my camera is definitely picking it up just a little bit here. And we'll go over that in a little bit later when we do some comparisons. But, yeah, there's our Catwoman figure. Uh, her articulation moving in her head side to side. She can look up just a little and down. Arm comes out, forward and back, full 360. There's a bend and twist at the elbow. There's wrist articulation, no waist articulation. Her leg comes out forward, and it doesn't really go back at all. Um, there's a bend at the knee, and that's about it. That's our 12-inch Selena Kyle figure from the exclusive Bat Cycle Pack. And next, taking a look at our exclusive Bruce Wayne figure. This is one I was really excited for you guys. Finally, Unmasked, we get the Batman, Robert Pattinson. And I gotta say, this really does look like him. Uh, after watching Tenet recently, I can definitely see the resemblance. He does, however, have the black makeup under his eyes. Maybe we'll get another version of him at some point where he doesn't have the makeup under his eyes. And maybe that'll be what keeps this Batman exclusive to the Bat Cycle set. Other than that, aside from the head sculpt, this is exactly, and when I want to say exactly, I mean exactly the same figure that we've gotten before. So his hair is brown, not black. That is definitely distinguishable. And I'm going to try to get as close as I can here so you guys can see exactly what's going on. It looks like all of that, his eyes um, and the black around it is computer printed onto his face and it is not painted. The black is not painted. So very, very nice touch. I think they really, and especially at a 12 inch scale, you can clearly see that they have captured the likeness of Robert Pattinson. The four inch figure of him unmasked will come in the Bat Cave playset. Uh, I pre-ordered mine from GameStop. I am really getting angsty waiting for it to come out. 
um, said it would be out on the 14th, and we still don't got a ship date. So uh, let me know if you're finding that one at GameStop or anywhere near you. Man, this is a cool-looking figure. You could probably get some really good pictures uh, with action figure photography, um, maybe some style and some photo editing, and you could really get a great photo there with him. So anyways, his articulation, moving his head side to side. He can look up and down. Not really. Nope. No, no wiggle room there for up and down. Um, his arms come out, forward and back, full 360. He does have that bend at the elbow. Is there a twist? It's debatable. It wants to snap back into place. His wrists definitely have articulation. Um, his waist does not have articulation. His legs come out, they go forward, no problem. And they don't go back and there is a bend at the knee. That is our brand new exclusive. Robert Pattinson Batman figure, and I think he looks absolutely fantastic. Definitely worth it for the buy of this set. Him and the Bat Cycle together, really, really cool. Next, taking a look at our standard 12-inch Batman figure from the Bat Cycle pack. This guy is really throwing me for a loop. I have tried very hard to look at this guy and figure out what is exclusive about him. The packaging says that these are all exclusive figures. Batman to me looks exactly the same. The weird thing is when I stand him up next to the other Batmans, which I'll show you in a few, um, you can tell that the gray colors look just a little bit different. Not a lot, but um, yeah, the, the shiny black parts of the costume, like the belt and the shoulder pads, that's, that's definitely the same. But the areas where his costume are classically gray, um, may vary or differ just a little bit. And if that's the case, then that is going to be what makes this guy a different figure altogether. But really, you guys, this is just the exact same Batman sculpt. And I really wish we would have gotten a repaint or something nice. Still, if, uh, if you didn't pick up the basic single figure, then this is going to be the best way to get this Batman for sure. So his head moves side to side. He can look up a little bit down just a little bit. Batman's arms come out this far, forward and back, full 360. He has a bend and twist at the elbow. Oh no, maybe there's no twist. Bend, no twist at the elbow. Catwoman definitely had it. Batman does not have a twist at the elbow. No, he does? Man, this guy is weird. Okay, so I think maybe his joints here in his elbow are kind of tight and in his legs as well at the hips because I think he, maybe it's the weather and maybe wherever this was stored before it got to store shelves, um, messed with it. But you can tell that the plastic just wants to snap back and it doesn't want to twist or bend that way. And so that's why for this very reason that he's not sitting on the bat cycle right now because his legs, they don't want to come forward. It's like the plastic right here in his hips is so soft and tight that, uh, that it, it doesn't, his legs don't want to come up. They want to just go back down like there's a soft plastic. They'll come out, but they don't want to go forward at all um, or back, which is really, really weird. Uh, his knee does bend, and that's about it for Batman. So I kind of got uh, duped a little bit there with this figure with his articulation. It's not horrible. It's just, you know, the same figure that they repacked here. And uh, thankfully, I don't think we got that on the other ones. Anyways, you guys, there is our basic Batman figure. And last but not least, taking a look at our 12-inch Penguin figure. Here he is, you guys, in all of his glory with an umbrella. That's right, an umbrella. I got it from my girls in their Barbie playset. I could not resist. I don't know why these guys don't come with accessories of any kind. Um, so yeah, had to give him an umbrella. Um, but yeah, he looks pretty good. He's based on Colin Farrell. I don't know how on earth they're going to do this. Maybe with like a liquid latex face of some kind that masks who he is and gives him some different expressions or features. But man, this is going to be really, really interesting for sure. We know that he's not going to be the main villain in the movie. It is going to be, of course, the Riddler. Um, but you know, I think this guy is definitely going to keep Batman busy. Maybe we'll see him stop him at a bank or something. Who knows? 
Um, the sculpt work is interesting. He's got all five fingers, so no Danny DeVito stuff going on there for sure. And uh, just some nice casual business pants and uh, business shoes with no, uh, no peg holes. And uh, yeah, some very nice sculpt work and some nice business trousers and a business tie. For his articulation, he's got movement in his head side to side. He does not look up or down at all. His arms come out, forward, back, full 360. He's got a bend, and he has definitely got a twist in that elbow. He's got full wrist articulation, no waist articulation. His legs come forward. They don't go back. They go out about that far. Pretty good. Forward, and there's a bend at the knee. And that's it for our Penguin figure. A really interesting looking guy. I can't wait to see what we get out of Penguin in this movie. All right, so first for some comparisons with our brand new Bat Cycle, we know that this is definitely the model of the Bat Cycle that we're gonna get. And this is by far the largest to date that we've gotten so far of this bike. So we know what it'll look like. As far as the colors and details, that kind of remains to be seen. Like the engine here is all silver. While on our Hot Wheels one, it has a black trim. It looks just a little bit different. And then on the McFarlane one, it looks like it's just all metallic. So uh, I really don't know what we're gonna get overall. And then like the McFarlane one doesn't have that, that cross emblem on the light, but this one does. And uh, it looks like our Hot Wheels one does not. Oh man, this is gonna be really, really interesting uh, what we're gonna get in the final product, but still really cool. I really like that design. I really wish it would fit our figures better in that 12 inch scale, but uh, definitely a really cool piece to add to the collection. Next for a comparison with our new Catwoman. At this angle, I bet you couldn't even tell which one is the new one and which one I already had that was the standard $10 figure. So it's gonna take an up close look for us to determine and understand, and I think I, even here, it's still tough to tell. This one right here on the left is our new one. You can tell like for sure in the boots that there is a sparkle to her paint. And so you can see that there, you can see it uh, on her torso as well, and on her sides. Um, and on this figure, it is all just a flat black paint. There's definitely, no sparkles of any kind, and that is the difference between these two figures. Other than that, they are exactly the same, so you could definitely skip on the $10 figure if you want to get the one in the Bat Cycle pack. But still, very cool, nice to have both. Next, taking a look at our Batman figures, um, I had to make it a little bit brighter than I wanted here, just so you guys can kind of understand the contrast here in the paint. Um, if we take a look at this Bruce Wayne figure, and our standard Batman figure, um, they have the exact, exact same paint. So that's the new one from our five pack. That is the standard $10 figure from Target. And then this is the new one from our five pack. And taking a look at this guy next to our standard Batman, you can tell that there's just a slight difference in that gray color, or I'm going nuts, one of the two but I can tell that it is a different color here on the gray areas than uh, than the other two figures. So again, really, really interesting to see. And then it looks like our, our wingsuit Batman, he's just got a dark black kind of similar to these two figures, but definitely this one, he's got something different going on. Uh, just a little bit in that silver paint. It just looks different, slightly silverish, kind of glossy a little bit. And so that's the difference here. Um, is it a huge difference? No, I think my camera can pick it up a little bit better than my eyes, honestly, at this point. But they're pretty much the exact same figure. So if you're going after a basic standard figure, you could definitely skip out on the $10 one and just get the Batman figure that comes in the five pack. That would work great. For our Penguin figure, I just recently found the 4-inch figure, and I can tell that these two are definitely the exact same sculpt, just cut in different places for articulation, but that is really it. This 4-inch figure definitely has the exact same sculpt. 
uh, in the exact same color scheme as our 12 inch figure. So these guys really are more or less the same. Um, again, it's a shame that we didn't get an umbrella uh, in that 12 inch scale, but we get it in the four inch scale. There it is, good old umbrella. Anyways, you guys, there's our penguin figure. For now, he's exclusive to this set. Will we get him later? Maybe in like a white t-shirt or something different uh, by himself or in a two-pack with Batman, perhaps. But for now, this is the only one we got. And for one more size comparison, just to see how everything scales all together and with a couple other characters. Here we go, you guys. So I've only got one other vehicle for 12-inch figures right now, and that is the Batmobile that Spin Master did um, last year, I think, maybe the year before. Um, but you can tell it's definitely not in scale with the bike at all. That Batmobile will need to be wider and taller in order to be in scale. We'll get a Batmobile later this year for the Batman movie in a 12-inch scale, so that'll be good to see as well. And here's just one more comparison shot for all of our figures. Very nice, and these guys all fit in together very, very nicely. Super happy to have this five pack to be able to add to my Batman collection. They blend in very nicely together. All right, you guys, that about does it for this action figure review. Thank you so much for watching. Once again, we got the Bat Cycle five pack, a Target exclusive. You can get yours now for 50 bucks. We got Batman, the Penguin, Selena Kyle, and Bruce Wayne. And this really awesome looking 12 inch bat cycle. A great set, you guys. So let me know your thoughts. I know for myself, I feel like I fell into the Spin Master trap. I bought the $10 Batman, the $10 Catwoman single carded for the 12 inch line, and then found this set a couple days later. And now I got what I feel like are duplicates. I know they're slightly different, but still, that is definitely something to be wary of. Uh, what I really want to know is where the Riddler is. I think we only got the McFarlane figure for him, so that's definitely going to be interesting. Maybe they're not releasing his figure yet because that'll give us a clue to who he is, who he really is in the movie. Uh, I don't know. Uh, it's going to be really interesting for sure. I could give my two cents on who I think Riddler is, but I really don't want to do that in, in case I'm right and spoil something. So anyways, you guys, let me know your thoughts. I would really love to hear from you. I think that Robert Pattinson head sculpt is awesome so excited for this movie and i can't wait to see what else we get from this line for this movie it's gonna be great you guys keep it right here at my channel as i find more new merch you know i'm gonna review it right here so keep it here stay tuned once again i'm brandon and thanks for watching